Hi guys, I'm What Beck Sews. Welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new. Today is Friday Sews and today I'm going to be sharing with you what I've been up to and what my plans are. How are we all? Are we all well? I hope we've had a good week. Got my Christmas bedding on and this bedding is beautiful. I must admit, I absolutely love this. So we're at a slightly different angle today. I have my ironing board in the bedroom. So you're currently perched on that from where I've been doing lots of ironing. Um, I finally got a tumble dryer, guys. You know you're a grown up when you're excited about a tumble dryer. Um, I know we cost a living trying to save money, but with not putting the heating on in the house as much i have actually found that um my clothes just weren't drying and certainly fabric um so yes i have a tumble dryer back which means i've caught back up to date with most of my washing and uh yeah i had to get a load of ironing done too so anyway you're not here to listen to me talk about christmas bedding or to talk about a tumble dryer let's talk about what we are here to talk about and that's what i have been up to so I've managed to be a little bit productive this week. I've certainly got a few more things done. You're going to have to forgive me. I have a really sore throat again. Um, the girls have had colds and I'm assuming that uh, I've just picked up whatever they've got. So much so that I'm actually drinking honey and lemon to try and help my sore throat. So I have a busy weekend and I cannot be poorly. So what have I been making? Well, I have been making things for my children, for myself, and you would have seen one of the makes that I made if you watched my festive me made uh, vlog that I popped out on Sunday. Now, I have actually worn that make, and that is the Nina Lee Bakerloo dress. Um, so it's currently in the wash, so I haven't got it physically here to show you, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail, because see, I don't wanna repeat what I've already shared with you, but I will pop some video footage in of the Bakerloo dress, and I will pop a photo in of me wearing it. This is a dress that I made out of a brushed cotton fabric that I got from First for Fabrics and um, I have put no frill on the collar, just kept no frill on the bottom, I've just kept the elasticated cuff instead on the bottom and I've added waist ties. So that was the first thing that I got made up this week and obviously that was quite an in-depth make so that took quite a bit of time. Then the next thing I got made up this week is actually going into more gifts. Now I sat on, I think it was Sunday night, I'd run out of time and I didn't really have an awful lot. I'd just finished my dress, but I wanted to just sort of tinker around with a bit of fabric. So as a result, I made myself one of these, which is just a very simple gift bag, a gift bag, um, wash bag, makeup bag. And I used a fat quarter that I got from so um, from Hobbycraft, uh, this little lovely set that I got from there. And then I used some of the So Haley Jane Woodland Walk um, for the inside and because I actually sat and did it properly it looks really nice and my lovely daughter came downstairs and saw this and was like mum I really want one of them so I thought my little pathetic ones that I made them when I was feeling poorly that weren't really they weren't the best things that I could have made I better actually go on and make them some proper ones so they started fidgeting around in my fidgeting fidgeting not fidgeting, started um, rummaging around in my uh, fat quarter box and they both picked their pieces. So Jasmine, my youngest, has picked um, this lovely So Haley Jane cat swan for the inside. And then from the same fat quarter bundle, she's picked this one here, which you can see I have cut and I have interfaced and that is to go inside. So I've got that one to make, but I have got Willow's, uh, my eldest made up. So Willow chose, again, these are so Haley Jane Fat Quarters, chose this beautiful um, Paris fabric, um, and I've done a lilac zip on this one, and then if we actually look inside, we've got that inside. So she picked both of that. Now, in hers, there is some additional pieces because I decided that this was now going to be a full-on gift and I was going to make some bits and bobs to go with it. So I was making some reusable um, face wash type things. Willow likes lots of makeup. She um, 
they, they both got clean they're both really into their cleanliness with their their skincare routines my youngest daughter bless her she's got very oily skin so um keeping on top of it to make sure she's not too spotty is kind of a thing for her so um i'm going to be doing the same thing that i've done for willow where i use the outer fabric so this fabric here and then I use the toweling underneath so they've got the reusable face wipes to go in these lovely little bags and um, and then I will probably go and get some makeup remover and some face wipes and stuff like that so they're both going to have one of these but Willow's is finished this one is mine I love this one I know that I probably should give it away um, I've got quite a few of these now but I just love this fabric so I'm going to find something else to store in it and I do have an endless makeup collection she says looking over there at it I'm not going to show you it because that is a mess at the moment so I got those two made up they're two little gifts and then the last thing I got made is what I'm wearing so this is the toaster sweater uh, by So House 7 um, it's made out of this fabric that I bought from um, So Affordable Fabrics. Now, I will say this is quite a, um, it was an inexpensive fabric and you can tell by the quality, but actually it was really lovely to sew with. I love this neckline of this jumper. And do you know what? I'm wearing it today. Um, I'm on a half day from work today. I don't put the slit at the side with it because I just prefer it to sit like that. And actually it's slightly over sized it fits me perfectly it's slightly oversized though so i don't need to have that slit to make sure it covers my belly area if that makes sense and then i've just got it on with a pair of work trousers because i was over at a college this morning with my apprentices and um yeah so it was perfect for a friday to go out to work in but equally i went off and did lots of shopping to get ready for my partner's party this weekend um, and it's been perfect for that too. So what am I going to get up to because that is everything from my makes. Now I have been cutting and prepping because I have, it's my, my partner turns 50 guys this weekend, his birthday is Sunday um, but he has a 50th birthday party on Saturday night and the bloody World Cup. So England are playing on Saturday night and we have arranged for some live music and it's been an absolute nightmare because my other half is a massive football fan. He goes to the pub with all of his mates and he watches the football and the live music is banks back in the middle. But he has quite a few people attending this party. So we're kind of going with the fact that we're going to keep the live music on. We've compromised. We are holding it in our sports club over the road. Um, that uh, we're both members of and I'm the secretary of and all of that sort of stuff. So we thought that was the most appropriate venue. We can have the TVs on at the top with no sound um, so they can all watch um, England versus France and then um, we'll have the music on for those that are particularly interested. And I think that that will work best. So I have lots of pre prepping and planning to do. I'm halfway through making his birthday cake. I will try and insert a picture here of the cake that I'm actually making him. Um, and then next week I will show you what it actually looked like because I'm pretty sure it won't look as good as that. Um, and I've got about a thousand cupcakes to make to go along with it and I've got lots of 50 prongs in it. I've got loads of platters to make this weekend and then tomorrow, um, Saturday morning, I have to go over to the club and decorate and I've kind of bought all the stuff for like a, a do-it-yourself photo booth and I've got like a little Polaroid camera and a guest book to stick them in so the guests can take their funny pictures with all the frames and we've got some 50th things just so it's, it's a nice memory piece. I've got some gold bling to go behind it um, so I've got to set all of that up, get all the balloons blown up. Uh, and take all the food over and then we've got the party itself and then on Sunday because we're holding it in our local club I have the luxury of then going and cleaning it all up so my weekend is going to be very limited for sewing I've gone off on a tangent and I apologize if I've bored any of you with what my plans are however a little bit of insight into my life if you're a little bit nosy and want to know um not that I'm nosy it's a good thing to be nosy okay I just stop justifying my comments shall I um so I have been prepping some projects to get on with and um i cut all of this out on sunday night because i didn't know if i'd get the opportunity to start them same with the toaster sweater i managed to get the opportunity to get this sewn up it's a relatively quick sew with it being um 
knit fabric. So the other one that I've done, look at this fabric, very Christmassy. So this is a fabric that I got last December and it was in the classic box for So Haley Jane. Um, and I've been waiting for the perfect opportunity to find something to wear it for. Now it is a very Christmassy fabric. It's like a shimmery viscose fabric. And I thought this would make a perfect Marnie blouse. And I really like that colour against me. I think that would look lovely and I could get away with wearing my red lippy because I do love red lippy. Although I'm wearing pink today. So this is the Marnie blouse. I have got this all cut out and ready to go. I've done the dress version once. I'll pop a picture of the dress that I've done in there. Um, but yes, I'm going to do this as the blouse version, but without the pin tucks because it's a viscose. To put the pin tucks in, it will be too fiddly. They won't hold properly. It's not got enough structure in the fabric. But I will have the neck ruffle like I did on my dress version because I really quite like that look. So I could probably get away wearing this out for a meal or, you know, Christmas. I, I want to wear my sparkly dress on Christmas Day. I really do want to wear my sparkly fryer. But um, maybe Boxing Day because we always go and do a couple of things on Boxing Day go down to our local pub we'll see a load of friends so i'm thinking that that might be an option so that's all ready to go so i'm hoping that at some point in the week maybe even sunday evening if i'm not on death's door by then because of this blimmin' sore throat that i will be able to um start doing some sewing but i have also prepared a quick sew so i have the seam work um pattern brit dress now um I've been looking at this for a while and I've really liked the idea of doing it. And I actually printed off the A4 sheets, you know, the ones that you stick together at home to pull together. Excuse me a second. <coughs> this will not beat me. So the A4 ones that I got and stuck together, for some reason the placement was out with the pattern. So then I decided what the best thing to do was to order just the AO and get it printed like I do with a lot of my patterns. So I've done that and I've got that all cut out and it's cut out in a black, um, thick winter cotton jersey. But oh, I didn't bring them up to show you. So these are the arms. So the Brit dress goes into like a cuffed ballooned type sleeve. Um, and what I wanted to do to stop it just from being black, I mean, I do love black at this time of year. I've got some, and I haven't got them to show you, sorry guys. I'll try and take a photo of them and pop them in here so you can see them. Um, I've got some trim that I wanna put across, a double layer of trim across the arms here and then sew it in. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll stitch it on and then flat when it's like this and then it will sew into the arms. Um, but it's purple and gold and Again, I think it just gives that little bit of a festive feel to it, but you could wear it any time and it's just stops it being so dull. It's not just a black, straightforward, plain dress. You know, it's it's more me. Um, so that is the other thing I've got cut out that I'm hoping to get sewn up. That one's probably more likely to be sewn up than the Marnie because, again, with knits and jerseys, it's such a quick make. So hopefully that one will will come together and i'll be able to share that one with you next week so that's everything that's a really quick friday size guys if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button let me know your thoughts in the comments below on my plans on my um toaster sweater and if you've got any ideas other than honey lemon and ginger to get rid of a really sore throat and prevent any more illnesses from hitting us I only got my fringe cut last week and I actually think, I'm not going to do a Ruan. I have watched Ruan's vlog recently where she's trimmed it herself. But I think I'm going to need to pop into the hairdressers and ask him to trim it a little bit more. I do like a long fringe, but I think by next week I'm not going to be able to see. Probably because I haven't had my hair cut for so long. It's just grown like that. Um, anyway, I digress again. Have a fantastic week, guys. Happy sewing and I will see you all next Friday. Bye.